Hi guys, um, this is Andy here. As all, most of you know by now, um, all CPs um, will be sent home um, and their programs have ended. Um, I'll be staying in the area for a while and trying to get back with the company as soon as I can or, or we're also going to be just doing what we can. Well, whenever we do this, whenever we go to Disney Springs, it often feels like we don't really like, belong as much as we did before. We feel kind of like outsiders almost a little bit just because when we, you know, when we were taken off from the DCP, we were taking off from the company. You know, we lost all of our benefits. We lost everything that we had. Mm -hmm. um, any chances of moving to different areas in the company. We are so happy to finally announce to everyone that we've decided to extend our Disney College program. We're going to be staying all the way till May. I'd like to be part-time, full-time somewhere and doing the Disney Inspire program where I want to finish my degree. All I'm hoping to do is just get full-time anywhere, preferably in the parks. But honestly, I'm just happy to be here. We're happy that we're staying. It was a rough time. Um, and uh, I think now that we're back um, and now that we have access to these areas, it still doesn't feel like we're back yet. Um, we're very anxious for them to um, open up positions for us to be able to apply for because um, I mean we, we literally check it every single day we, we literally it's kind of almost depressing because <laughs> um, we, we're, we're looking we're waiting we're, we're ready um, we're ready to come back until things really just start opening up it's we're not going to be able to come back for a while this is a process and it's not forever um, and the world in itself is just going through a lot right now and we can take it one day at a time. We can be patient with ourselves. Mm -hmm. We are heartbroken, um, frustrated, sad, angry, um, and hopeful that we can come back. And today, for one day only right now, we're back at Magic Kingdom and we're very happy to be here. Well, we're on our way down Main Street, of course. I always have to stop at the casting agency. Let us freaking back in the park, Disney. We want to come home. We've talked about this several times in our videos, how when we go to a Disney property, it doesn't quite feel like home. I was, I was just trying to figure out like why maybe it felt like just another theme park. It didn't feel like, you know, the Disney magic that I was used to feeling. Mm. And I think it's it goes both ways of being able to be a part of it to make the magic to, to like kind of empathize with the other cast members to feel like you're one with them and in return when you're at the parks you kind of get like you're a guest but you have a sense of like a cast member where you want to like still reach out and help other people i can't tell you how many amazing moments have happened today um how many casts have just been absolutely phenomenal and just taking care of us and just showing how much they care about us. I'm surprised at how much I miss this place. You know, I've done all the shows, all the rides here a bunch of times, but I still just missed it. I think what I missed the most though was the people. I just really, really missed seeing all these people that I know and love, and it was great to be able to see them again. I promise that I will be coming back here. Um, I don't know when and I don't know how, but I will be coming back. And until that time, I'll see you real soon. What's up, you guys, and welcome to Andy's Playground. Today is April 26th. It is currently 6.10 p.m. And in about 45 minutes, I will be interviewing for the Walt Disney Company. I can't believe how long it's taken <laughs> to finally be this close. And over the past more than a year now, um, I've applied to many, many, many positions within the company, whether they are office or corporate based or whether they were attractions or parks based, whether they were a bus driver to custodial to a Club 33 member specialist positions. Everything that I had a shot for, I applied for. And for I'd say two thirds of them I was turned down for and the other third I was just left with my application being received. That was up until this past week. During this past week, I finally received uh, an offer for an interview um, to be a lifeguard. Over the past 
month, I've been working at Volcano Bay and I've been working as a cabana attendant, which has been awesome. Um, and it's given me some great experience with working with water parts. So I thought might as well shoot my shot for a lifeguard position. Um, I'm a pretty good swimmer. You know, I, I've, I've done what I can. But at the most, again, this is just a position within the Disney company. That's how, I guess the best word for it is desperate that I've gotten for this. Um, and I just can't believe that it's finally happening. Today is going to be the big interview. And after I stop recording this video, I'm going to open the Zoom interview uh, web area. And I'm going to have an interview with the Disney recruiter. And I am not sure what's going to happen. What's been fun is I've been... As I was piecing this video together, I was looking at all the past um, times when I interviewed for the Disney College program, and that was, you know, great. You know, that was an internship, you know, you know, thing. But this is the real deal. You know, this is this is for a part-time position. This is for full-time positions. It's like this is where it really comes into play. And you guys might think I'm very silly for this, <laughs> but I wanted to do this. I've wanted to have this job for so long. And now that it's so close, I am scared. I am excited. I am nervous. I am anxious. Um, and I'm just really happy to finally have this opportunity. And I really can't thank all of you guys for being so supportive during all this crazy time period um, that this past over year has been now, year and a month. It's now 30 minutes till when my interviewer could start going in. So I'm going to leave you guys right now um, and prepare for whatever is to come. And hopefully, guys, it'll be great. And I'll see you on the other side. So um, I just had my interview with Disney and I'm going home. During the interview, it seemed pretty apparent that they already wanted me back. It was kind of cool. Like I had Disney College program on my resume. I had other theme parks on my resume and the recruiter I was talking to was super, super friendly and super, super nice and kind. And she's just like, honestly, we, we want you here. We just need to know where we need to put you. And I said, you know, do you have anything in Adventureland? And she said, you know, you had, I, I, I pegged you for a guy in Adventureland. I pegged you for a jungle, jungle cruise skipper. I think you'd be a really good skipper. And a skipper is my dream role. I, I've always wanted to be a Jungle Cruise skipper. And she looked it up and she it wasn't there at first. And then she was like, let me do a deeper search. Let me just try something. And eventually we got around to it. I'm going to be going to the Adventureland Liberty Square area in Magic Kingdom, which I really couldn't be happy for. That was huge. Most of my favorite attractions, if not all of my favorite attractions in um, in Magic Kingdom are in the Adventureland Liberty Square like loop area. I can't believe how awesome it is. I start May 15th and I couldn't be happier about it. Um, I am kind of in a state of shock, really, but I'm just so excited to finally be going back. In the words of my former self, I'm going to Disney World. To this happy place, welcome. 